flashing the camera in there and everything. Oh yeah, look. Oh yeah, look. My purple hair. <laughs> um, uh, I'm making something. What am I making? Oh, crushed lime and sea salt. It has no vanillin in it, so fingers crossed. It doesn't discolour. I'm going to use these um, uh, fluorescents that I made up for the mechanic soap that I didn't actually make. So we have Mango Tango, uh, Harlequin, and the blue whose name shall forever remain a mystery. <laughs> uh, they're all neons, they're all from my micro obsession. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a um, navy base with the Blueberry Delight and the Black Pearl, which are upside down for you, and oh my god, the stupid camera, I don't know. Yeah, so, but um, yeah, <laughs> and it'll be the first time pouring my log on my lie here, batched up in this big container, so it'll be the first time pouring down of there, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Because, you know, all I wanted was a container big enough to hold it. The, the, the pouring part, sort of, I didn't even think about the pouring part. So, yeah. The bits, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. The bits floating in on top are tusser silk. Oh, look at that, no worries. I'm just going to stop talking. Because apparently I can't pour and talk at the same time. Oh! back on there so that spill it. So now you can walk away over there. There's a bit of dribble on the table so I'll wipe that up now. Because now may I put my hands in it. Pretty much almost guarantee I would put my hand in it. Alright so that's everything in there. That's my hard oils, my soft oils, my goat's milk, my clay, everything. What I'm thinking I might do is I will hand mix this in because I've not used it before so I don't know how it's going to go. So have not, um, oh got many of those left, um, I don't know what I was going to say. I also have not learnt how to finish the sentence. No, no, <laughs> I don't to do. I have no idea what I was going to say now. Uh, I haven't got a mould out. Um, that wasn't it. No, I don't know. I've lost my train of thought here. I'm just going to put just that much in and just give this a mix. I just want to see how fluorescent it's going to stay. Because I want to, um, I want it to stay pretty bright because I'm going to do navy. I don't want to lose the colours but I think they're going to stay pretty awesome, so... The blue will be interesting. I don't know how the blue is going to look like in the navy, so... I may put a little bit of um, titanium dioxide in this yet. I haven't decided. It depends on how dark I go with the main mix, I think, more than anything. These all also have to have a bit of a whiz because um, neons are, are a thicker powder and they tend to have, no that one's empty so I'm going to show you that, oh, that one's empty too, well they're going to have to go on the list aren't they, uh, yeah you can you see in there there's um like little balls of powder so neons don't mix quite as well as um regular mica so they always tend to need a bit of a whiz with the stick blender but um yeah i think that, oh sorry <laughs> i forget that the camera's like just there now oh it's just it was just there at the last house too but obviously i didn't get used to it i'll um take those out because i want to give them a whiz before i put any fragrance in them which is really stupid because, you know, it's just, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm really tired. <laughs> I've just come off four days of stuff and I had a tooth pulled out the other day too, so. <sighs> no, actually, I shouldn't complain because seriously, the, um, 
the dentist was so nice. This, what is that going to figure already? Who knows? Um, he was, no, he was, he was absolutely lovely. He was, like, he explained everything as he did it, and he was really gentle, and, I mean, he was just, he was just really, really nice. So what I might do is I won't put any black in there yet. I might just see how this goes. Hmm. I'm going to put another one of those. And then I'll smudge another. Here's me just making it up as I go, as usual. <laughs> What is the rule when mixing soaps? Lightest ones first, and I'm going the opposite direction. Ah, well, never mind. Mixing, mixing, only with spoons. So let's do that, that, and that. That will need me spatch. Needs me spatch. Get all that mixed down in there. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the lorikeets outside. They are deafening. <laughs> They're pretty awesome, though. I must admit, I'm not complaining. Just get that little bit of green mixed in. Alright. So. Let's move that out of the way. This is actually quite nice. Um, it's very limey. Um, I'm not so entirely sure what sea salt is supposed to smell like. Because, <laughs> you know, salt doesn't really have a smell. But it is nice. It's, very lime, so I just didn't know what fragrance to do with these colours, so I just ignored common sense, <laughs> which you know is my daily life, and um, just got one that had no vanillin in it because I don't want it to darken. And just yeah, this was the first one that I could find that had no written on the bottle because I go through them when I get them and I'll look up the vanillin content on aroma and write on the bottle so you can see Wait. that one actually says no so that way I can look at it and if it's got like you know six percent I know it's definitely going to go dark so yeah all right we'll do a double with this because that's thickened up considerably and I would like to get this fluorescent. There was a bug in there. Oh, welcome to the joys of soaping in Australia. Seriously, this place is a shithole. <laughs> For bugs it is anyway. Honestly, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Except maybe Japan. Because, you know, I'm in love with that country and the human beings that live in it. But I'm allowed to do that if I want. I don't have to like Caucasians just because I am one. Not that I'm against them, but I just am attracted to Asians. I'm crazy, crazy in love with Xiao and Guk at the moment. He's just, oh my god, he's something else. I'm just, I won't bore you with my stupidity. Hello NRMA. That's it. There you go. Blue thickens quicker than yellow and uh, orange and it does too. Let's see this is going thicker as well. Then orange and green. Funny, I don't know. How the different colours will thicken at different paces. There's no good thing about soaping, it's just so friggin' interesting. Let's try this left handed. <laughs> Considering I actually am left-handed, 
Again, this should be interesting because they're different consistencies. Viscosities, whatever. So it should make for an interesting swirl. I don't know how much is going to stay down in the soap, so let's get this out of here. Get as much on that as we can. So this one. Yeah, I'm watching what the smile has gone from your eyes is the drama I'm watching at the moment. And um, it's a remake of, I think, like a hundred million stars from the sky or something. I haven't actually watched the original, whatever it is that it's adapted from. But I'm very much liking it. So I'm trying to do this from reasonably high. I'm not having a great deal of success here. <laughs> Just because it might go in a little deeper. But I think it's pretty much just going to sit on the top. We'll leave that little bit in there for now. Uh, just trying to loosen it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that one went in a bit. You can't really see anything. <laughs> you can see the container. There's not much I can do about that. Sorry. I'll put a little bit on there. See if we can loosen that up a little bit. If I move this over here, you might be able to see. Oh, sploosh! That is sploshed everywhere. <laughs> Massive sploshes. Look at that. That's awesome. Alright, then we'll put a little bit on there, and then that matches. That down. Uh, I always make a mess when I have hardly any paper towel left. Oh, and I forgot to buy more paper towel today. Oh, damn it! That's because I did the grocery shopping when I was hungry and all I was thinking about was food. <laughs> I was so hungry. So hungry. Alright, no, because I had my tooth out on Friday and it's now Sunday. So. I had my tooth out at lunchtime and I didn't actually eat before I went to the dentist, which was stupid, I know, now. Um, so yeah, so you know, after the dentist I wasn't allowed to eat for uh, four hours and I was only allowed to eat anything soft. I come home because I had no food in the bloody house. I had nothing to eat, so, and then about seven o'clock that night it dawned on me that I had, um, uh, mashed potato in the freezer now that sounds weird but i buy the mccain's steam fresh veggies and they now have a mashed potato which is the best because i'm lazy like if you see me do my grocery shopping it's terrible because i don't buy any fresh veggies or anything i buy tv dinners and like steam fresh veggies and things that take five minutes in the microwave and you can all hate on me if you want, but it's not going to change. I don't like cooking. I'm not interested in cooking. I live by myself. I've better things to do with my time than cook. Make soap. <laughs> so we're having a discussion today about um, getting more subscribers. And I wasn't suggesting that I was trying, like, uh, it, it was, I'll just explain the, the whole conversation. And my friend said, if your videos were shorter, you would get more subscribers. And I'm like, yeah, I'm well aware of that, but I'm not doing this because I want subscribers. I'm doing this because I like making soap. Admittedly, you know, most of my soap videos are now like, you know, under 15 minutes because I'm, I think I've gotten better at editing and like I'm editing out all the stick blending and, and that sort of stuff now and that, that's good because that's take, that's time you guys don't want to watch it anyway and there's no talking or anything but, you know, I mean I could make shorter videos if I just 
didn't talk and just put music over them, but that's not what I do. And I like to think that if that's what you guys wanted to see, you would go and watch channels that do that because that's not what I do. So those of you that have subscribed know what I do and subscribe for that. So, which is rave on like a crazy person. <laughs> Although, you know, looking at the analytics, I can see that a lot of videos, the watch times are not as long as the times that the videos actually take. But I don't care. Like I've always said, I don't make these videos for the world. I make these videos for me. I like making soap. I like video on it. So, you know, and some of y'all seem to like it. So I'll keep doing what I'm doing and try to keep getting better at my editing. <laughs> Although <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one has now just become a long one. Yeah, look, just short of 17 minutes. Although it won't be in editing. I hate editing. It takes so free. You know, it takes longer to edit a video than it does to friggin' make one. That's sad, isn't it? All right. I feel as though this is a nice masculine-looking soap, but I really, really want to glitter it. <laughs> and that was pretty sexist because why can't guys have glitter? It's terrible, isn't it? Because it's true. I mean. Oh, you know, maybe there are guys out there that like glitter and are just too afraid to admit it because it doesn't seem manly. That's sad, isn't it? Really, that's so sad that you have to hide who you are because of social conditioning. I mean, it goes on all the time. It's terrible. Dudes, because no dudes watch my listen, tell all your dude friends to embrace the glitter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm well aware of how much of a dick I am. Hashtag because I'm a dickhead. Or, no, that's the top. No, it's actually, I've so had it right. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop now because I'm an idiot. As you can see, it's night time because I kind of forgot to cut the soap. Um, having issues with my alarm. <laughs> they keep turning off in the middle of the night so I've run late this morning anyway this has lost a lot of its lime smell it now smells more kind of like just a um, aftershave whoa that's different where's the camera there's the camera well it's, it's neon it's different <laughs> There's not, oh, cool. I'm trying to get this so it's got quite as much shine on it. It's not as navy as I would have liked it. I think this blue would have been better to mix in with this. This is kind of more of a, a greyish um, instead of a navy, but still, it's pretty awesome. I do like the fluorescent colours, they're, they're pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm liking it. <sighs> so, I mentioned in a video previously that I had some news that I had, didn't sort of want to talk about too much until I got the results. Turns out everything's fine. <laughs> I had a bit of a, a cancer scare there for a minute and um, while there is some stuff going on, it's nothing that can't be fixed with a bit of minor surgery with a over 90% success rate so it's all good it's all good in the hood or the vagina whichever <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that <laughs> whatever but yeah so it's all good now I kind of like that as much as it's like I don't know it's like look at the dots how cool was that you see that so yeah so everything's fine so He's not getting rid of me anytime soon. But yes, this has lost a lot of the lime smell. It now kind of just smells like, yeah, men's aftershave. So it's kind of, I wouldn't recommend it for the lime. Anyway, all right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.